So, it seems like a lot of people have recently become aware, or at least they've been reminded, about Manifest V3 and the tsunami of ads that will be coming to certain browsers. So to give you a quick rundown of the situation, right now, a lot of extensions, especially ad blockers, are using the older Manifest V2 framework, which is browser agnostic, by the way. So both Chrome and Firefox extensions use these frameworks. But in January of 2023, Chrome is going to completely disable Manifest V2's APIs. Now, Google's excuse for doing this is to provide you with more security and safety. Since one of the changes coming with Manifest V3 is that extensions won't be able to load remotely hosted code anymore. And look, I gotta be honest, changing this probably is going to bring some people some security because as we've seen on this channel several times, there's people out there that install malicious extensions and then get hacked through them. Like lots of people do this. I don't know why, but yeah, that change is kind of like a childproof lock for them, I guess. But it's completely separate from the API changes that are going to kill ad blockers and user script managers like Tamper Monkey. So I'm not buying the safety excuse. I mean, I, I don't ever really buy the safety excuse when people say, oh, we have to take away some things for your safety. No, it's always a lie, okay? My gut tells me that it's all about the money since Google makes billions of dollars from serving ads and collecting user info. So it's pretty easy to figure out the real reason for this. So what is 2023 gonna look like? Are we all going to live in the pod, consume the ads and be forced to be happy? Well, if you're using Chrome and you just decide to sit around like a bump on a log and let Google abuse you, then of course, you're going to be abused more and more. But like most things in life, there's options that you can take. There's actions that you can take to prevent the abuse and I will show you how. So the best choice in my opinion, would be to simply change to a different browser. And I mean a truly different browser like Firefox or any of its forks. A lot of people still don't really seem to realize that most browsers out there, they're just forks of Chrome. They use Chrome's web engine and they're gonna have their extensions cooked as well, at least their manifest V2 extensions. And yes, I'm gonna talk about Brave so hold your horses with the three paragraph shill comments that you got paid 0.1 bat to write. So the Brave browser, this is also based on Chromium. And as you may know, it has ad and tracker blockers built into it. This blocking doesn't rely on extensions. Uh, Brave Shields, I believe that's the proper name for their ad and tracker blocking tech. It doesn't use the extension APIs. So if you're satisfied with Brave's ad blocking capability and you don't want to change to a completely different browser, you know, a browser that's using a, a different web engine, which by the way, for like 99.99% .99 of people out there, it doesn't matter, okay? There's some sites, like very rare exceptions that'll get a little bit wonky with Firefox, but most of the people that are saying like, oh, Firefox just doesn't work, you know, oh, all the websites are broken. They're living in the past, they're like, in 2005 or something, okay? Like Firefox and Chrome, they're basically equal uh, in terms of like how browsing the web would work for a normie. And even for a developer, I mean, in my experience with web development, I haven't really been pushed into being forced to use Chrome. I'm still able to do most things in Firefox. But anyway, back to Brave. The ad blocking should continue to work after January. And I've also heard that Brave might start using the enterprise policy on their fork of Chromium, which is also going to delay the death of Manifest V2 until June of 2023. So extensions like Tamper Monkey should still go on working if they choose to do that. So switching to Brave, that could be a solution, but I want you guys to understand that it's still based on Chrome, so it may be vulnerable to other methods 
that Google could use later on to kill ad blocking. Remember, this is their cash cow. This is the real reason that they're doing Manifest V3 and that they want to completely deprecate Manifest V2. Unless Brave is able to change their browser's engine to something totally different. Now, what if you don't wanna change your browser? Okay, maybe you're somebody that just hates change even more than you hate the abuse that Google is doing to you and you're not even willing to switch to another Chromium browser like Brave. Well, there will still be ad blockers that are built with the Manifest V3 APIs. In fact, Raymond Hill, the lead developer of uBlock Origin, recently released uBlock Origin Lite, which was formerly called uBlock Origin Minus, uh, kind of still has a logo from that, which is an ad blocker completely built with the Manifest V3 framework. So this is an ad blocker that you could use on Chrome in 2023, but of course, as the name implies, both the current name and the former name, it has less ad and tracker blocking capability than the original uBlock Origin, okay? It's just not as good as the original thing. Uh, and it may also be a little bit less convenient to use because if we read the description here, uh, they say that uBlock Origin Lite does not require broad read modify data permissions at install time. Hence, it's limited capabilities out of the box compared to uBlock Origin or other content blockers that do require these read modify data permissions. However, uBlock Origin Lite allows you to explicitly grant extended permissions on specific sites of your choice so that it can better filter on those sites using declarative cosmetic and script lit injections uh, and to grant the extended permissions on a site. You open up their panel, you click on the sun icon, uh, then it's going to warn you about the effects of granting additional permissions and uh, blah, blah, blah. You'll have to tell the browser that you want to accept this request. And then if you bypass all of those scary messages, then, then you're going to be able to do that better uh, content filtering for the site. So you will get some functionality out of Manifest V3 ad blockers. And, and there's other ones out there. uBlock Origin isn't the only one, but it's my favorite ad blocker. It's the only one that I use. So it's the only one that's really worth me talking about, I guess. This might be less convenient using a less aggressive ad blocker like this, but that's why I saved this option for last. And I mentioned using Firefox first because it's something that's truly different. Like it has a different web engine. I know, you know, people aren't that technical, but I just wish people would at least realize that if you're using something like Brave or Chromium on Google Chromium, at the end of the day, it's still Chrome. At the end of the day, Google still has a tremendous amount of control over those browsers but Google can't do anything to remove ad blocking from Firefox and Mozilla has committed to supporting manifest V2 extensions. And there's also the benefit that if more people were to switch to Firefox, it would help even out the browser's market share more because Google is dominating. That's the whole reason why they're choosing to abuse people in the first place because they have the control, right? They're like, oh, what are you gonna switch to Firefox? and you know, most people don't even know about Firefox. Uh, and of course, if Google is able to control the browsers, you know, control the browsers that most people are using, then that gives them a significant amount of control over the web. So I guess the optimistic view of this is that it's a great opportunity for our favorite rusty orange Fox browser to gain more market share and control over the web. But let me know in the comments below, what is your strategy for Chrome killing Manifest V2? Leave a like on this video and share it to hack the algorithm and have a great day.